Hi guys and welcome to a new finger style guitar lesson. Uh, today we're going to look at Blackbird by the Beatles. Uh, one of my favourite uh, things to play on an acoustic guitar. I always, always fiddle all about with this one. Okay, um, before we get started, usual thing, if you like the lesson, do hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, uh, then you can follow all the other lessons that I do. Um, also for those who are uh, just getting into finger style guitar playing uh, you might be interested to know that I I offer a download um, as a guide to finger style guitar I'll put all the links in the description box for you so you can check it out there okay then on with the lesson okay um, Blackbird's basically got three different finger patterns um, so I'm just gonna label them pattern one pattern two pattern three just to save time, so I'm not keep I'm not forever going over the um, the picking order. Okay then. So pattern one is going to be plucking with the thumb and middle fingers together, followed by the index finger. That's pattern one. Um, to get started, this is going to be uh, like a G chord. So we're holding down third fret on the sixth string E, and we're going to play that along with the B string followed by the open third string, like that. Okay, so this is pattern one. You're gonna use that for the next one as well. This is like an A minor seven, holding down first fret on the B, and we're playing strings five, uh, the B string and the A string together. Like so, followed by the open G. Then we get uh, like a, a G over B chord, Picking the same strings as before, holding down 3rd fret on the B, 2nd on the A string. Like so. So you've got this run up. You're going to hear that an awful lot in this song. Okay, um, then we're going to move on to pattern 2. Um, the chord shape I'm holding down here, it's like another G chord really. Holding down 12th uh, fret on the B, 12th fret on the D. 10th fret on the A string. The picking pattern for this is going to be um, thumb and middle together. Then it's just going to go thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb. Okay, so that's the picking pattern. I'll say that one more time. Thumb and middle together. Thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb. Like that. And we're going to play strings um, 5 and 2 together. Then four, three, five, two, four. And we're going to play that pattern twice. Like that. That's the intro. That's also the first part of the verse. So when you start singing, that's what you play again. Okay, then we're back to pattern number one. It's gonna be like a, a C chord. I'm holding down the third fret on the A string and you're playing that along with the open first string. So followed by the third string. Then we move up to the 4th fret on the A, 3rd on the E. Same strings as previously. Next one, um, it's like a D add 11 apparently. 2nd uh, fret on the E, open D string together. Again, 3rd string after it like that. Then we move up to the 5th fret on the E, 6th fret on the A, play those together, followed by the open 3rd string again. So you get this little run up. Okay, then we're going to move up to the 7th fret on the A and we're going to hold down the 8th fret on the B string. This kind of creates an E minor chord and we're now on our 3rd pattern this pattern is going to be thumb and middle again together 
then it's just going to go thumb, middle, thumb, middle, thumb. And the strings are two and five together. Then three, two, five, two, three. Um, that, so we do that for a bar, and all we do for the next bar is just lower the fifth string down to the sixth fret, and we get an E flat major chord like that. Okay. Then we've got this again. This we're so we're back to pattern one. So we get that little move again. Um, just a uh, second fret on the on the E. Playing that along with the um, the full string. Then again, move it up to the third fret on the E, full fret on the A. So you get that. Then we're gonna go back to pattern number three. This is gonna be like a C chord. Um, so I'm holding down the 5th fret on the B and 3rd fret on the A. And thumbs just going between, back and forth between the 5th and the 3rd strings. Like so. That's for one bar. And then in the next bar all we do is lower the B string down to the full fret. Same picking. Then we move the whole shape down one fret, so now, now it's 3rd fret on the B, 2nd fret on the A. Like that, and that's like that G over B shape that we had earlier. Then it's going to be an A7 shape, just 2nd fret on the uh, B string. Like so. And then we're going to get like a D11, or C over D chord. Um, same picking, but this time your thumb is going between the fourth and the third strings, like so. So that's like the D11. Then we're back to our open G shape. So just the third fret on the on the top string E, and this time your thumb is going between um, the sixth and third string. So quite a big jump there. So that with that one pattern, the C, C minor, G over B, A7, D11, then open G, like that. Then um, at the end of the first verse, you get this little extra kind of linking section. That is, it's it's this C shape again. So fifth fret on the B, third on the A. Pattern number one. Then the G over B shape. So that's third fret on the B, uh, second on the A. Then the A seven, second fret on the B. And this is using pattern number three. So what we had before. And then the D11 pattern again. But then the open G. So that's like a little section, uh, like linking. Then we repeat the whole verse again without that link section and moves on to the bridge. And this is what we get. So you get this little run down. Again, it's pattern number one. I'm holding down a 10th fret on the B, an 8th fret on the A. It's like an F, it's kind of like an F. Add 9. Get an E minor one here. This is 8th fret on the B, 7th on the A. 
whole shape goes down. So that's sixth fret on the B, fifth on the A. And then that C shape again, fifth fret on the B, third fret on the A. You take that whole shape down two frets, so now on third fret on the B, first fret on the A. It's like a it's like kind of like a B flat chord. B flat six or something like that. Uh, and we're using pattern number three for that, and our thumb is going between the fifth and third strings. Like that. And then we move the whole thing up to the C shape, um, fifth fret on the B, third on the A. Same picking pattern. Then we do that little run down again. That B6 then down to the A7, D11, and then it's going to, well, after you've done the D11 you're going to go straight back to the verse section again and uh, just the regular verse section without the linking part. So once you've done the D11, you're straight into that run up, play through the verse, Without the link, play this bridge again, and then once you once you played the bridge for the second time, you're going to play that run up that we had right at the very beginning. This pattern that we played at the beginning, we're going to play that four times. After you've done that, while still holding that shape, you're going to play strings two and five together, then open third, fifth, fourth, and then two and five together, third, and then back to two and five being played together. And it kind of slows down, so if I play that little section. Sounds like that. Then there's a, a, a pause for a while. And then while still holding that shape, you're gonna play strings two and five again together and quickly slide them down like that. And then we get this little So this is using uh, pattern one. We'll get our open G. A bit like the, again, the run up that we had at the beginning. A minor seven, G over B, the C shape. Back to the G over B. Then A seven. So that's all with pattern one. Then we play um, the D11 pattern, which is basically pattern three. And then we're into our final verse. So most of it's the same. The G over B, pattern one, then the A7 with pattern three, D11 with pattern three, back to the open G, and then that little run down again, C, G over B, A7, D11. And then to finish it off, it slows down slightly, Plays the open G again, so that's going to be third fret on the E, open B string, and then what he does is he does a little strum, the back of a finger, on well I've written 
second, third and fourth strings. He only hits like a little part of the chord for that last, that last bit. Like that. Okay. Right. That's all the main sections to the song. I hope that's all made sense to you. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. And I'll see you guys for the next one. Take care. See you soon.